When you're working with AutoCAD Electrical, there are schematic and panel database files available. These can actually be edited locally from AutoCAD Electrical. However, it's not common practice, but what I want to show you is how you would do it. I've set up a separate drawing, schematic and panel database files. So what we'll do, we'll click on the project and add the active drawing as usual. And we'll make sure it's numbered appropriately as well. So we'll go properties, drawing properties, make sure that that is sheet 007 and add that to the list. Again, good CAD practice, make sure you get into that. Now we're in the current drawing. There's the schematic tab right there. If you go right to the end to other tools where things like Symbol Builder and the icon menu wizard are, there's this little icon here. Click on the down arrow there and you'll see you've got things like the PLC database file editor, the electrical standards database editor and so on. And you've got the schematic editor. So if I click on that one there, it shows me the schematic lookup database, the MDB file, manufacturer, catalog and assembly code. Now I'm going to quit that because I don't want to make any changes to it. That's my day-to-day -day data that I use on a regular basis from all of the libraries that I use in AutoCAD Electrical. I don't want to make any changes. But things like PLCs, for example, we'll look at PLCs later on in the course. But if I click on that there, it goes and looks up the database file editor for me. And there's all the different manufacturers and they go in the database. So if I click on the plus sign next to ABB, and then go and pick a particular model, let's say, of PLC. I've got analog combination, analog input, analog output. If I click on analog combination there, now it takes a few minutes and the information is there. And if I keep clicking down, you'll see I get even more plus signs. So if I click there and then go for that particular one there, there's all the data. Now there's a lot of data in here. These databases can be huge. So what you want to make sure is that you don't edit any of the standard data. This is specialist territory. You need to be what they call a DBA, a database analyst, to edit all of this data. You don't want to give this to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I'm not a DBA. I'm just showing you where this information is just in case you need to use it. So what I'll do here is I'll just click on Done. I haven't made any changes to the PLCs, but you can obviously go and edit that information. Now, again, it's the same with your panel tab. If we go to other tools here and click here, you've got footprint database file editor. So you can edit the catalog number, footprint, block name, lookup file. Now, you don't want to edit that information again, and that's for panel footprints in this case. Whichever one you want to do, panel or schematic, there's schematic again. It's in the other tools and on this little icon here. So you can edit information. So terminal properties, for example, if I click there, select the type or manufacturer, click on edit, and that'll bring up the database now for the terminal properties for the manufacturer AB. There's the manufacturer name, the catalog name, levels, level description, upper, lower, wire connections, and so on. I'll quit there. And these are just MDB files, Microsoft Access Database files. But you do need to have a certain specialism to edit them. I would never go in and edit the default MDB files because they're what I need every single day to create an effective project in AutoCAD Electrical.